Hey everybody, it's Brendan. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to say my name. Hey everyone, it's Chris. This is the OBT Show. Thank you for listening to us on youtube.com slash OBT Show. Don't forget we're on Twitter at the OBT Show. And you can email us at the OBT Show at gmail.com if you have any burning questions or you're a lady and you want to get to know Chris. <laughs> do people still use email? I do. That's I, I use it. I emailed a girl once. Oh. And it didn't work. No, it didn't work out well at all. I didn't think it did. Because <laughs> it's so awkward. It's like, hello there. You're like, what do you do? Like, salutations. Huzzah! I found you via email. Dear person I'm interested in speaking with. It's an email <laughs> request for a date is the equivalent of like getting a quill and parchment and writing that out. That's how it's received. Yeah, no, you I mean, wrote I, an email? You have like, like the little, an email? little fluffy curls at the end yeah, of your, uh, yeah. your shirt. You look like you're wearing a, a man blouse. I spy you from yonder. So henceforth I sent this virtual message, an electronic mail, if you will. <laughs> Oops, sorry, that's where my quill broke. <laughs> I'm running low on parchment. <laughs> I've murdered my pigeons. All of them can't get this message, so I've decided to go with a virtual electronic mail. Because my love cannot be bound by 140 characters, Twitter fails me. Aim Wait, is can you, too do you much. get on girls with Twitter, too? Uh, no, I followed porn stars on Twitter. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, <laughs> You're sh- you're shocked by that? No, no, no. It's fine. I I follow-, I, I follow the ones that have retired because they're more. They're not like, hey, look at my pictures. They're like, I was in the business. The business sucked. This is why the business sucks because all the free websites. You get an insight to it. That, oh, hey, I have also have some kids. Yeah, like kids, <laughs> or like I have a better job now that I'm not getting fucked. Which you kind of feel good. It's like a victory yeah. story. Um, I, I I follow some of the uh, suicide girls. So I it, what is that? It's like that sounds terrible. It's like uh, pinups, and it's, it's, some people consider it porn, but it's a lot of like really, really artistic nudes. And oh, I've been on that site. Yeah, and they're all girls that I think could kill me. Probably, yeah, but they're they're all like girls that like have tattoos and piercings yeah. and aren't like the normal pinup girls or like I don't know. I I, I appreciate what they do. I I don't yeah. I don't like subscribe you, you to, don't subscribe? to get the, the nudie stuff. I like the stuff that where they are yeah. still wearing clothes. When I was. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I felt something on my foot. It was a plug. Um, I know. I felt, I felt like, are you playing footsie with me again? Um, when I was younger, I, ha- I did I, freshman year because I was lonely and I had a credit card for the first time. I was like, <laughs> I went on Bang Bros and it was a porn site. Who knew? And I, I registered for uh, a site and I felt cool at the at in that moment, but then I remember I felt terrible the next. I, I submitted the click. I clicked purchase, and I was like, "I'm I'm doing this now. I am that guy." And, and I the remember credit card statements getting sent home. Yeah, yeah that, that was the other thing too. The mail address was home, and I was like, "My mother is going to be so upset with me." Hopefully, they don't send me any flyers. I know. Like, <laughs> please don't. I was like, "Here's my mail address." Sure, and I was like, "Wait a minute, they might send me stuff." Giant dildo. <laughs> <laughs> we got a trial off. We're on some dildos. <laughs> Here's a forty day supply of Viagra. What's that? Uh, you can just say it. What's wrong with the mics? I don't know. It just popped a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to turn you down a bit. Okay, good. You're a, little, you're a little popping. I'm a little poppy. That's a little behind the scenes for everybody out there. A little, that's Popping is a term used when the microphone is taking too much of your sound, and it causes a sound. And now you know. And now resume the show. Dildo! <laughs> <laughs> that was about right. That was alright. So I did that. I did stupid stuff he like that. He got this amazing trial offer on giant robotic dildos. Yeah. No, mom. No, don't open uh, the package. Don't open that package. <laughs> it has a bunch of hearts on it. It has to be from Admire. No, it's from porn people. It's from, it's from a passion. It's party. from porn people. <laughs> what, did you buy anything dumb when you were in college? Um, I don't think so. Uh, alcohol? Does that count? No, that's normal. Okay. That's, what, that's what all the kids do out there. No, I mean. When I was when I got my first credit card, I don't think I bought anything stupid. I just no. I put like car payments and stuff like that on it. You make me sound like a totally irresponsible person. It's like porn, booze. Why not? Oh no, you buy the bad stuff with cash, so that way there's no uh, no tracing. No, I want my bank to know everything I'm doing. <laughs> I want them to know that I'm a filthy degenerate, and that's who you gave a credit line to. I would walk into the bank and I had sideburns. I'd wear flip flops, and I look like a beach bum. You look like you were gonna rob them, and then. 
they would be like, oh, look at all these like nice transactions that you have made. That sounds very, very nice. Well, I and then yeah. w- with the cash is when you, you, you do the dirty. Well, I remember I, I, I had lost my card. Marriage Ooh. I'd lost my card and I had to verify the last three payments and it was like Hannaford for $50 I'm like yep they're like um lovely lady lingerie for 75 I was like yes DiCarlo's Gentleman's Club for 200 and I was like sounds about right mail order bride just add yeah. water? <laughs> question mark? <laughs> sex are us? that's just obvious sir yes it's it's sex. No, well, I mean, you know. But I, I only did that freshman year. Then when I, I got more fiscally responsible. You as found I became, free sites. I found free sites, yeah. There you go. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> How did this turn to be, oh, we're doing an episode on porn? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is one of those, I think we're, we're kind of giddy because, um, oh, our weird why way, are we giddy? Why are we giddy? Because we put up a commercial and we put this commercial on Kevin Smith, the director of Mallrats, Chasing Amy, Clerks, Clerks 2, Red State. Uh, now he is becoming well known, and he's sort of a trailblazer in the podcasting universe, where he has a network of about forty podcasts on yeah. Smodcast dot com. It's and impressive. It is very impressive the amount of shows that he is responsible for, and the fact that he does about eight of them himself mm-hmm. um, is pretty cool too. He's good. He's very good. He's very good. So I admire the dude. I know you like him too. Um, I follow him on Twitter, and I, I was searching around his site. And I, you can advertise. I mean, and I actually spoke with uh, Mr. Ming Chen. Woo-hoo. Uh, he's uh, on Mad. Ma- uh, I was about to say he's no, on Mad. Comic Man. book man. He's on comic book. He's man. a mad comic. He's book a mad man. comic book man. <laughs> and uh, he was really cool. And he gave me the breakdown on pricing and advertising. So we created a commercial. Um, maybe what we can even do too is I can edit it in. What this podcast? We could. It's on the. It's on the YouTube. It's on the YouTube channel too. I'll edit it in this podcast. Okay. So let, let's do an edit break where I go, here's the commercial. Hey, everybody, I'm Brendan. Hey, everyone, I'm Chris. We do a little podcast called The OBT Show. You can find all of our podcasts on www.youtube.com slash The OBT Show. And we talk about all types of things. What do we talk about, Chris? Well, for starters, we talk about our favorite video games. And we also talk about our favorite comic books. Even our favorite movies. And as a special treat, we'll have sex with you if you subscribe. Wait, what? Seriously, man, that's the thing I read online. Like, that's the only way to be popular on YouTube. You have to have sex with everybody. All of them? Yeah, man, all of them. It's cool. It'll be fine, man. Just be cool with it. Oh, man. You can also find us on Twitter at The OBT Show. And on Facebook, just search for The OBT Show to find our fan page and like us. Remember, our podcasts are all on YouTube.com slash The OBT Show. I'm Brendan. And I'm Chris. Get ready for sex. (laughs) I hope you like that commercial. (laughs) <laughs> that was the best three seconds of staring at each other. I, I felt the emotion. It was emotional. Um, so that's the commercial that we put on I Sell Comics. If you go to smodcast.com, if you click on the, the channels and the podcast listing, I Sell Comics with Ming and uh, Mike Dabsik, the two guys who are on Comic Book Men, it is towards the end of the podcast, and we are the sponsor of New Books of the Week for this week, which is, what's the date today? The 27th? Yes, I think so. This is June yeah, twenty seventh. Yeah. So for it's, June twenty seventh, episode eighty seven because eighty six was the last one okay. that I had posted on there. So so yeah, like so if you're listening to us for the first time, we started out with porn. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, we don't always do this. Sorry. No, normally we talk about like really nerdy stuff, but which we're gonna get to later. Yeah. Um, but we're we're really excited. Just too giddy. This we're week. just too giddy, and <laughs> we're very excited. Thank you very much to Ming. Um, thank you to uh. I know he didn't necessarily have a big flip side, but Kevin Smith, thanks, Kevin Smith, for having a website that we could advertise yeah. on. That's cool. That um, is something. He's like a third father. He's our dad. <laughs> Daddy Smith. Um, adopt us. Adopt us. <laughs> um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you listen to it for the first time and you're checking us out, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, and hopefully you find us amusing. And we will continue to do this regardless of whether or not you like us. I just got happy and angry that we have new listeners all at once. <laughs> well, I mean, I want to keep doing this. It's I fun. do too. High five. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sound effects. Hey, Brendan. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear? <laughs> what's that, Chris? I had an idea of what we could do with the podcast today. Yeah, what's up? Go ahead. We have not done a lot of would you mm-hmm. and then pair two things together and we'd have to pick one. Let's go. Let's do it. All what, right. Are we going to do comic book style? 
We can do comic book style first. Let's do comic book style. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, if you had to choose between Rogue Superpower, which is the ability to to yeah. absorb other superheroes' yeah. abilities, or you could have sex with Scarlett Johansson once in your entire life, yeah, what would you do? Rogue's powers. Oh, man. I would really pick Don't Scarlett care. Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. Don't care about Scarlet. Oh Jackson. come on! No, because I would love to be able to. But the thing that the thing is, though, I would have to ask for some clarification. Am I the only one with those powers? Like, do I? Am I in America the only one that has superpowers? Because then I can't absorb anybody else's. Or am I living I in the Marvel universe time? Yeah, we're, we're going to say the, we're, you're living in Marvel universe. All right, then yes, most definitely, I'm on Rogue's power, so I can be like Magneto, but then you like can never, Quicksilver. You can never know love. I'll know love. I'll find somebody else that will be impressed that you would, I can. You would trade not knowing love suck the to not have sex with Scarlett Johansson. What if you? What if you like turned her to love you with the power of your penis? No, because that doesn't work at all <laughs> in real life. So why would it work in this fantasy? Hey, world? you never know. You never know, man. <laughs> all right, here's one for you. What if? Would you rather be Batman, meaning your parents are dead, but you have a million dollars, or oh. would you rather be <laughs> Tony Stark? Who has a million dollars, but you're an asshole. Nobody likes you. Oh, man, I'm an asshole all the time, well, but I love Batman. I know, So, but, but you have oh. to, if you want to be Batman, you have to be Batman. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I wouldn't be able to, like, enjoy a social life. And so not really like, it, no, I mean, be I, like I comic book Batman, not like Batman in Dark Knight trilogy, Christopher Nolan, where like you retire for eight years because you're just upset about stuff. Like don't, you're not mopey, you yeah, know, well, Batman. I mean, there's still, there's still, I'm not saying be mopey Batman, but, but there's Batman that's so serious that nothing happy can affect don't him. Don't be like, Rachel. <laughs> not, not that Batman. Um, <sighs> but then like, I could be a real asshole. Like I'm, I'm only like semi asshole. I don't even have the full. So asshole you're gonna ability. be like younger Batman, where you're still kind of fun, but you're a jerk. You're just a jerk. A jerk. I'm gonna have to go with Batman. I okay. think it's just because. Yeah. I, w- I want to, you know, be able to beat the snot out of Superman at some point That's in time fair. because I'm, you know, the world's greatest detective, and I can figure out how. Okay, so Tony Stark. All right, so give me one now. Ooh. Okay. If you had the ability to stop time. Okay. Or. You had the ability to manifest anything you want into being. So oh. by my manifest, like you, if you were like, man, I really want an ice cream cone on this hot day, bam, ice cream cone pops in your hand. Now I can, I can, can I, I can only stop time. I can't go back in time, and I can't rewind time. Or can I literally just stop time? Well, and then move uh, let out me rephrase away? that. You can control okay. time. I can control time. So you can essentially have anything that you want, or you can just make it happen. I would rather control time, and this is why, because I think it'd be fun to go back and observe historical events. And I, I would go. I agree. I would go in the future and steal stuff or buy things that I want to that I don't know it. that I want. Then I bring it back and impress my friends. See, I would want to create things that aren't necessarily real, but like I've seen in like fictional, like, uh, like I'd want to make Pokemon. Like if you I really had to, want to take to care manifest, of a Pokemon manifest anything I want into but then, being. But when you're not fighting it, you have to live with it. Why yeah. would you want to live with that? Because you shut up. No, I, they, they only talk in the cartoon show. Like, I'm talking like... Oh, like you know in real life what they sound like. It's my it's my fantasy world. If, if I manifest them into oh, being, they make a bunch of weird sounds, and I get to so have a Bulbasaur that follows me around. So now you're changing it. You can not only manifest, but you can dictate what that becomes. Yes, yeah, so you, you, so so like an ice you cream can create cone. anything from nothing. Okay, so when you, but when you say ice cream cone... That means that you might have a different interpretation of what that is than I do in my mind. Mm-hmm. Okay, exactly. so all right, so you can make that, you, so you can have them no vocal cords. Oh, right, well, because like, say you're a chocolate chip guy, and yeah, I'm, I am, which uh, I am, chocolate chip, which I am. I want to go on record. I'm a chocolate chip guy. I'm a cookie dough. I was just using my get chocolate the fuck chip. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. But you, you essentially the ability to just bam anything you want, whatever kind of cone, whatever. Uh, yeah. like, and this, that's just ice cream. That's just my. Hot because it's hot out. <laughs> it's also very thing. hot in this apartment. I'm wearing a tank it's top. It's actually not bad. It's not terrible. I don't I know. I'm, I'm a big guy, so I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. If all I the say time. it's not bad, that's a yeah. good sign. <laughs> okay, I sweat profusely. Um, all right, here's one for you. Would you? Oh. Would you rather be a member of the Avengers or oh. a member of the Justice League of America? God damn it! Like I don't want to, because I it, there, there's so many DC characters yeah. that I don't like. Yeah. But, but I'm talking like the the top tier. Now, now, okay, no, no, no. Am I a already participating member 
No, or they am have, I am like a new superhero? Captain the- America comes to you and Superman comes to you, and they both want you on their team. <sighs> See, they, they lost when and Superman I'm talking, came. If Batman came, well, no, uh, well, I'm saying been, Batman, Superman's representing all of JLA, so he's. I don't want Superman to represent JLA. Just go with it. Superman is saying you can hang out with Batman. This is the last time I'll talk to you. I'm sorry, but Batman was busy fighting the Joker, and he'll tell you all about it when he gets back. All right. Um, Captain America's like, true justice, we've got some mutants on the team now. We're much cooler than we used to be in the 70s when we were just white guys. Now we're multicultural. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'd probably join Justice League just to be with Batman, but Marvel definitely for the cool factor. Yeah. Here's the thing, I, I think I'd go with JLA, because they seem more lax with their membership, and less, um, you, there's not so many things you have to do. Avengers seems like every friggin' day, you're getting called into work. JLA is like, if we're here, when we need the big stuff, we'll call you, and we'll let you know about the smaller stuff, but you can hang out if you don't want to come down. Alright, that's Avengers always like, we got this, we got this, we got this, scrolls. Is it Galactus. weird or creepy that, I, that the reason I want to join JLA partially is because I want to know which way Batman would choose to kill me? Because he's, has, he, comes he, has up the, the files. he has the contingency on everyone. Yeah. Like, I would want to know. That would be kind of cool. Do you think... Or not kill me, just disable me. Do you think Captain America has it? No. Tony Stark? He has, like... I think he has an understanding of everyone's abilities, but I don't think he has... Right. Well, I don't know. He has one for Hulk. He does. But I don't know if he has it for everybody else. I don't know if he really... Cool. Do they ever explore that? No, I don't think they ever did. I know for Hulk specifically Hulk because did. Hulk is just but you know, that was but that wasn't just Tony Stark. That was Mister Fantastic, Charles Xavier, Namor. That was the Illuminati, Black Bolt. Yeah, but didn't he do it on his own when he came out with the Hulkbuster? Or was that no the Hulkbuster still part of was Illumin- a separate thing that Tony Stark did on his own. That wasn't necessarily a final solution. No, Illuminati no, no, but, but came up still, with final solution. I, I feel like mind. that was still like. He, he that was his contingency plan. Like I, it was. I make suits, so I'm gonna make a, a super big strong suit. Yeah, but that, that wasn't to deal with arm wrestling to competitions kill Hulk, with the yeah. Hulk in different in, yeah, cities. Different, wasn't that, what, what, they charge sixty bucks a ticket? It's not bad. I would I, I'd go see it. When, what, what book was this? In the sixties or eighties? No, this, like is, very this 60s. is my fantasy world. When oh, I your fantasy world into being. You would have been perfect for the uh, the sixties. That's that's pretty much that sounds like a book from the sixties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, give me one more. Okay. Um, oh, I gotta get a good one. You that make last it one. Good. That last one was a good one. Um, okay. If you had to kill off the first Robin, oh, which was save, Dick Grayson to save Batman, or no comics would ever exist ever. Oh wait. A minute. All right. Wait. So you you have you have your two choices. You can live a world in a world where there's no comics ever, or you have to kill off Robin. Dick Grayson's dead. To save Batman. Dick Grayson is dead. Okay, fair enough. Good. Because I'm saving Batman. He obviously in in, in historical context. But then it's going to change everything. Yeah, maybe. There's no no multiple universes. This is this is only Batman and only Robin, and then Batman's going to be changed forever. Well, no, but the Batman will recruit a new Robin, and he knows that you you killed Robin and, in, a min, in a in a malicious way, or is it a? I don't know. It, it could be anything. Well, that changes it. If it's malicious, I, I don't know, want Batman just, murdering me. I'd rather take no comments. This could be the the evil genie in the lamp thing. Like it could go good or it could go bad. I am going to say that I'm still killing Dick Grayson. <laughs> Because I want to live in a world of comics. And if Batman chooses to murder me, murder me among my comics, and I'll be happy. You're just, like, swimming in a bath of comics, just yeah. like, let me just get a get one more rub in before, and then Batman just busts into the room. He goes, I would be like, you're funny books. <laughs> Robin is dead. <laughs> That's not what my costume looks like. Do you think if, when Dick Grayson dies, does he yell out, Richard! Or does he go, <laughs> Dick! Because if I heard that walking down the street, I'd be like, Batman wants some dick badly. <laughs> I wouldn't even acknowledge that it was... I'd be like, why is Batman screaming well, Somebody's going to put that on Tumblr. <laughs> somebody's going to take that clip. Batman wants dick badly. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> Dick! I mean, Richard! Your former... Your formal name. <laughs> I had to put I had to put something that, that would... Um, take you away from your comics because I know I know I, know I would I love you it. wouldn't do it I would not do it but I had to try you had to try um, alright let me find one more for you would you uh oh would you have 
would you make out with the brood? The ugly space aliens of the Marvel Universe to save the world? Or would you rather be inside some impenetrable suitcase type thing that Batman made for you, but when you wake up, you're the only person alive still? (laughs) Your face is so good. God, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have the choice between... You have to make out with the ugliest... (laughs) And or maybe, living alone. Or living alone. Maybe when you when you put this up, can we put a picture of the brood when the this brood, pops, when yeah, this pops think, up? Yeah, I can okay. do that. Make out with the brood, or you are stuffed in a box. It's not do comfortable, I, uh, by the way. It's, it's not a comfortable not com- box, not a comfortable and you box. have to stay in there for at least a week while the cast- catastrophe happens. And then you wake up, no one else is alive. Fuck. Are there still? video games in this world yes it's one of those things where everybody else is dead but all buildings are intact sweet <laughs> i mean like, there's no one to talk to that's no fine. animals are alive if, if i could there's still so many video games that i haven't played that that should at least last me like three or four months before i go crazy so i, I will not make out with ah. i would make out with the brood because <laughs> stop, that, it. stop it stop it i'm that it. kind of guy i like weird shit your tongue's just gonna fall off I from, from brood <laughs> It's like I don't I don't need to be attached to this body anymore. No. It just hops off and runs away. <laughs> I'm making disgusting noises with my fingers. <laughs> um Do you have any more? No, I just wanted to do a couple. Well those are the nerdy ones. Yeah. We can do what if. Give me one what if and then let's wrap up with uh video game news. I don't know how to do a what if. <laughs> Why are you even introducing it then? Well, because you you said all you did just one, and I was like, now I gotta figure out like a really good one. I didn't plan very well. For no, this. You, what terrible? What if? All right, give me what if. Come on, let's go. What if? Yes. You had the sexual prowess of all of the main cool guy characters from, let's say, infamous uh, or infamous um, uh, Uncharted. You like you're like the the primo main storyline dude. Okay. You had that. You were just like, girls were like, oh right, my right. god, yeah, yeah, so sexy. manly, I'm sexy. macho, yeah, yeah, like like real life. But you had a okay, b- super tiny dick. Okay. Would you choose to live this life? No. No. Why not? Um, because I think I'd be selling a false. It'd be a false sell. <laughs> <Beautiful sell. laughs> and I don't like being dishonest. That's really what it comes down to. I don't want to be like I'm a great lover than a the tiny ding dong. I mean, but you don't. You don't, like half the work is already done for you. You're just like you are so manly. No, because I don't want to leave you, a wake of like, total disappointment. Disappointed. Well, that's what you have hands for, right? Ew! Why are we talking about this? You're gross. This is a what if disappointment. Okay. Um, I have. Uh, you have a what I if? Have a, I have a either or. It's a yes or, yes or no or a... This or that. A this tit or for that. Tat. Okay, give me a this or that. Would you... Ra- would you build something like a sentinel to... Would you like to be have an army of sentinels? Okay, okay? that'd be pretty fucking badass. <laughs> an army of sentinels... To do what? Anything? Anything you want or an army... Can I have them play football? Yes. Like sentinel football? Yeah, or an army of da, ninjas da, 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 at your disposal. <laughs> Army of ninjas, ninjas or an army of sentinels? Shit. I know. I made this. Shit. I know, right? No, I'm going with the sentinels, man. I just, I just had the, an epiphany of sentinel football. That'd be fucking awesome. That would be cool. Just giant robots battling across like the Grand <laughs> Canyon. <laughs> I would rather have an army of ninjas. I mean, it would be, that, that's still equally. It's fucking awesome. Cool. Come on, that's cool, man. I'd rather do that because I feel like I could get away with things in a stealthier manner than be like. Sentinel that comes down and goes, I have a target. You must die. You can have like this little like bird call for them and they would just appear yeah. and then vanish into the shadows. And you could do it like fifteen times in a row and people would be like, What the fuck is going on? That's why I now want you see him? No. That's you don't. why I want ninjas. <laughs> it's very simple. Alright, let's wrap this up. Okay. Do you have one more? No. Um, <laughs> you have some would video you, game news though. Okay. Would you? Alright. Okay. Would you? Would I? Would you? Would I? Would you? Would I? Put yourself in the Marvel movie universe. Okay. But you had to do it 
without any limbs? <laughs> or would you put yourself in the comic book universe for Marvel without any ability to see, speak, or hear? Oh, God. I have no limbs So, you like, all. you're in a comic book. You have limbs and stuff, but you're like your face is just like non-functional. You can't hear nothing or whatever. So like like you, things are going on around you, and you just have no idea what's going on. Or you're in the Marvel movies, and I have no hands and no arms, no, no legs. arms and no legs. Oh my god! I'd rather. And be... you're a superhero, mind you. There's, you have super. How, what? How would I be a superhero? You, I'm bam. Now you're a superhero. I would rather be. <laughs> we have, we're not terrible. working about powers. We're just. I think I'd rather be in the Marvel movie universe because at least I can legs. see what's happening, and it doesn't sound as dangerous as regular Marvel universe. Regular Marvel universe is a it's like buffet. A it is a version. yeah. It is it is a <laughs> it is a cornucopia of terrible things. Okay. So whereas Marvel universe seems very staggered, like this is going to happen now, and then we get a pause for a while, and Earth seems to be cool, and then we're going to get some other shit that's happening. Okay, right. so I'd rather do that. Okay. Fair enough. Let's talk. You have a little bit of video game news. Did I? You did. You were going to talk about something with Microsoft or Xbox? I was? Yeah, you were talking about it right before we were recording. I don't even know what you're talking about. You had video game news. You told me. Was it real video games? Yeah. No, I didn't. You were talking about policy reversals? No, we already talked about that. Really? We talked about... We talk, wait, wait. Did we talk about DRM? You yeah, mean? we did that. I thought we you, you told that. me you had something you wanted to talk about. Video games. I'm Chris, to, you're failing me. No, so badly. I'm just trying to think. Like, I, like you I know, are I know we making me sad inside. We didn't. Did we, we? Did we talk about gameplay for Titanfall and all the stuff that they revealed later on? Through you were talking about the free games. That's what you wanted to talk about. People can get free games. Oh, yeah. Xbox Live. Yes. Okay. You, you, I, I'm thinking like main oh Xbox God. policies, but Chris, sorry, Chris, we have we have five hour production meetings where we go over everything we're gonna say. Can I just can I just start jerking the air right and now? And Chris, I'm going to shoot this. And load. Chris takes so much notes all over Brendan's And face. I do multiple powerpoints, <laughs> and for for naught. Take that pop filter. No, we don't do anything. We literally <laughs> just chit chat while I get naked and change clothes. Um, not in front of Chris, you pervs. So important news: um, Xbox knowing that they've screwed up over the past yeah. couple of years or copying the PlayStation format for online. They're going to be releasing free games for the rest of the year. I don't know if that's going to continue into next year when Xbox One is the primary system. Yep. Or if Xbox 360 will be continuing to get old games for free. But what games are they? Be cool. Yeah. What games are they going to actually have? Uh, the first game that they did was Fable Three. That was this oh, month yeah, yeah, yeah. in June. Yeah. And then the two games of July are going to be um, Halo Three and Assassin's Creed Two. Which, I mean, I I played both. But yeah. I think it's still pretty fucking cool that you get it for free that just to awesome. download and, and play whenever you want. I don't have enough storage space for any new games. Uh, I have the big storage <sighs> spot, so I'm good. I have nothing. I, I have knew, the cloud. I knew I was going to buy games eventually. You have the cloud? I have the cloud. Question mark? I don't know how to use it. I have the Etherwebs. I have the internet. <laughs> so that's cool, though. But I mean, I like that. Didn't they? Weren't they kind of did it ass backwards where they released Fable and then they didn't really tell anybody about it? They just kind of put it out there for free and then news was site. I remember IGN reported it and then they came out and said, oh, yeah, yeah, we meant to do this. Yeah, I, I think it was just because they, they uh, it might have been like a developer glitch or something. Like right. somebody had it posted and they were like, oops. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to be yet, but hey, you know what? Just keep downloading it. Why yeah, not? Why not? Have a <laughs> good time care. with it. <laughs> That's cool, though. Yeah, that was, it's nice. You know, it's. I mean, we're not going to get like, you know, prime rate games no. when they first came out. It's, no. it's going to be like old stuff, but that's fine. And Sony came out and said that they got the price point price break because they did not put a camera on it. Yeah, which it's kind of dumb. Yeah, I, I, I mean, if it, that limits their ability to compete with them in the long run, as right. far as like future tech. Right, because then they they will have to add that on as an add-on that you eventually just have to pay a hundred bucks then for. When you go to buy games that require it or right. whatever, you have to buy that separately. Right. So I mean, at the very least, though, Connect may be spying on me in my most personal moments. It can read your. Blood. It can at least let me play games. Pulping, pulse, pulping, pulsing through your body. What? The, the, it can. Oh yeah. yeah. It can tell what your heartbeat is. I don't like that at all. I, I mean, I, I watched a video online about, like, they have cameras now that yeah. they're so sensitive that they can see, like, you can see the blood pumping in someone's face. It's... it's. 
That's gross to me. That's not gross. It's I think it's terrible. Why? <laughs> I want to go back to where there wasn't all these cameras. Okay, fair enough. Never, I like never, it'll never happen. I'm a camera guy. I'm an old school man. It'll never happen, though. You're just an old man. I am kind of old. <laughs> why'd you have to bring the, Why'd you have to bring up my age? Well, you know, not everybody turns fifty tomorrow. Shut up! Oh, no, you're not that old. <laughs> no, I'm not that old. Um, let's wrap it up for today, man. We hit our mark. We had a good show for not really preparing. We are still in the afterglow of our Smodcast moment. Very excited about it. Thank you for listening. And Chris, what did we learn today? What did you learn? If you could only walk backwards, okay, but you got to know every single language in the entire world, okay. Would you choose that life? No, because I like to move forward because I'm a progressive man, Chris, and I never look back. You could talk to any person ever. I don't care, because then they'd be like, Even why are you walking languages. backwards? Someone's speaking I'm, I'm always going to have to talk Sorry. about back backwards. Sorry, Star Trek fans. <laughs> Klingon. I said, Ooh, da, only... Da, 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 <laughs> That's pretty much all I can do. Yeah, but you, you, you just walk backwards. You're just like, hey, no. what's up? No, no, because I don't. Because then they like, why are you walking backwards? I don't want to hear... I don't have to explain myself in 900 different languages. You could use one It's a language. genetic defect. <laughs> what? Now I have to go in Chinese, I would, Arabic? I would do it if I could have every... If I didn't have knowledge of oh. every single language. I don't want to... Cool. I don't want to back up into a toilet. I can't see what's happening there. Imagine walking through New York City backwards. Oh, that's and, fun. And understanding every conversation it's, it's around It's terrible you. to walk through New York City forwards. That's Why would true. I want to go yeah, backwards? Your logic has flaws, sir. Escalators would be fun. Shut your face. What, so you, much, what did so you much, learn, goddammit? So much fear. I learned that you get very hostile when you think about walking backwards through New York City. <laughs> Ask me what I learned. <laughs> what if I don't want to know? <laughs> you want to know. Okay, wh- what did you learn today, Brendan? I learned that you're a sexual deviant with all your sexy talk. And, that, and I'm a sexual all... deviant? Yeah. I'm a sexual... You started... Yeah. You, you, yeah. No, you were I'm the trying, one that... I'm trying to make people forget I said that. Shut yeah, up. you paid for porn You, talk, you, you in, paid in for college. porn. You paid for porn. Hey, I got it for free. You, did, uh, you paid for like it. A real you were that American. dirty man in the beginning. <laughs> this is the OBT Show. I'm Brendan. I'm Chris. Dirty. <laughs>